It's one of the oldest movie logos ever made, with over a hundred years worth of history behind that majestic, snow-capped peak. But did you know there is actually a real Paramount Mountain? In fact, if you count every mountain that's been credited as supposedly being the logo's inspiration, you get a grand total of nine. It seems everyone and their grandmother has an opinion about the true identity of Paramount's towering emblem. Well, this video is going to unravel the mystery once and for all. We're scaling the mountainside on this episode of Into the Logoverse. I'm Michael Cahill. Before we continue, just a quick reminder that if you enjoy this content, please remember to like and subscribe. Every bit of support helps the channel grow. Thanks so much. In 1907, a young entrepreneur named William Wadsworth Hodkinson opened one of America's first movie theaters. The location was picturesque Ogden, Utah. Hodkinson found himself with a tremendous success, but he had far bigger ambitions than simply owning movie theaters. He wanted to implement a revolutionary new system for distributing movies. At this point in time, Films were released on a state-by-state -state basis or through roadshow distribution. Instead, Hodkinson planned to release films nationwide, giving independent producers a cash advance to make their movies. And in exchange, Hodkinson would have the exclusive rights to distribute the finished films. He founded Progressive Pictures in 1914, but he discovered another company already had that name. Hawkinson didn't want to lose the alliteration of progressive pictures, so he selected another word that began with the letter P. Paramount, the name of an apartment building in his neighborhood. Hawkinson struck deals with two independent producers, Adolf Zukor, founder of Famous Players Film Company, and Jesse L. Lasky, founder of the Lasky Feature Play Company. Zukor and Lasky would supply the films, while Paramount would supply the nationwide distribution. It was a groundbreaking arrangement that led to Hawkinson being dubbed the man who invented Hollywood. As if that wasn't enough, Hawkinson also invented the Paramount logo. The story goes like this. Hawkinson sketched his idea on a napkin and showed it to Zukor. On the napkin was a pyramid-shaped mountain peak capped by snow and surrounded by a ring of 29 stars. Ben Lomond Peak is largely considered the inspiration. Part of the dramatic Mount Ogden in Weber County, Utah, Ben Lomond Peak forms a striking backdrop to the town where Hawkinson opened his movie theater. The looming peak etched itself into Hawkinson's mind, and he used those memories to create the logo. Then, in 1916, thanks to some wheeling and dealing on the part of Adolf Zukor, famous players merged with the Lasky Company. Together, they bought out Hawkinson and officially took control of Paramount. It was Zukor who changed the number of stars encircling the mountain peak to 24, symbolizing the 24 movie stars that Paramount had under contract at the time, including Mary Pickford, Gloria Swanson, Douglas Fairbanks, and Valentino. In the early 1950s, the logo underwent a significant revision. Advancements like Technicolor and widescreen cinematography filled the big screen with epic visuals and grand vistas. This was also the advent of a new competitor for audiences. Television. So the studios made their superior technology a selling point emphasizing production value that no television series could match. This updated logo takes a major step towards the version modern audiences are most familiar with, adding a lush surrounding landscape and increasing the depth of the sky. Many Paramount films of the period also included the VistaVision logo. A widescreen process VistaVision was used to great effect in such classics as North by Northwest and White Christmas. This redesign moves away from Ben Lomond and Peak, drawing inspiration instead from Mount Artesan Raju, 
a breathtaking snow and ice mountain peak soaring over 19,000 feet, located in the Peruvian Andes. There's no denying the resemblance between Artesan Raju and the iconic logo. 1975 brought about another revision. This time, the mountain fades to a stylized blue illustration, embracing a much more subdued take on the logo. Notice that the Gulf Western byline is now present. In 1966, the conglomerate purchased a struggling Paramount Pictures for $125 million. The number of stars has also changed, down now to 22. With contracts for actors a relic of the past, the stars no longer have any symbolic meaning beyond simply being stars. To be honest, I've never cared much for this design. It's just a little too basic. But the next version is easily my favorite. In 1986, Paramount commissioned artist Dario Campanile to update the logo for their 75th anniversary. Campanile created an absolutely beautiful painting with vivid and realistic details. I've always loved the mountain's reflection in the glassy lake the small, scattered islands, and the rays of pinkish sunlight setting on the horizon. Also, demonstrating the improvements in computer technology, the stars are now CGI and no longer motionless. Instead, they sweep in from off-camera and encircle the mountain peak, forming the iconic ring. This version appeared throughout the entire 1990s, at the start of such favorites as The Addams Family Films, Mission Impossible, and several Star Trek sequels. So, we can safely say that two mountains served as the inspiration. The initial spark came from Ben Lomond Peak, but the contemporary look originates with Mount Artesan Raju. Still, there are many who insist the logo was influenced by various other mountains, namely, the Matterhorn in Switzerland, Mount Rainier in Washington State, Mount Hood in Oregon, California's Mount Shasta, Monviso in Italy, and even Mount Everest in the Himalayas. But the most bizarre theory states that the mountain is actually Mount Hermon, found between Syria and Lebanon. Mount Hermon has a significant role in the Book of Enoch a religious text that was excluded from the Bible. According to the Book of Enoch, Mount Hermon is where 200 fallen angels descended to Earth. The conspiracy theory claims that the Paramount logo is the product of Illuminati symbolism, with the ring of stars representing the satanic fallen angels. Speaking for myself, I think this theory makes complete sense but your mileage might vary. Today, the Paramount logo is more elaborate than ever, allowing us to skim across the mountain lake alongside the flying stars. As for the famous mountain, thanks to modern day CGI, it's never looked more lifelike. But whichever version you call your favorite, they all share the defining image of a mountain peak the perfect symbol of lofty ambitions and triumphant heights. Thanks again for watching another episode of Into the Logoverse. Lots more movie logos to talk about. Stay tuned.